Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tapped the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror two. Tap the fuck in. In reverse. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Taurus. Gang, welcome to your bonus read. This will be for tourists, any placement. Flip and switch the energy table resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective tourist reading. I am a tourist son in 12th house. Thank you for your support. For those that are new, welcome. Let's see what the spirit wants you to know. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Angel, spirit guides, and ancestors, bonus messages for the zodiac sign of Taurus. What's the energy? We got love affair, dirty little secret down low. Is it giving third party? So Aries got third party energy over there. Y'all might be close enough to Aries to have some of y'all energy over there because Taurus came out. I'm an Aries, Moon, Mercury, and Venus, so check your birth chart. Same energy, third party. Some of y'all sneaking around. Some of y'all, somebody wants you to sneak around. You ain't going for it. Some of y'all might be in a love affair. You don't, <laughs> you don't even know. You need to ask the right questions. Okay, uh, for some of you, this is no longer your life. You're no longer doing this. You're overcoming this. We will clarify each card twice. Let's see. For Taurus, what's the energy? Something could have happened on Valentine's Day because she wearing a whole lot of red. Lockbox, closed in, trapped and frustrated, SOS. Okay. More of this energy that was over there. I ain't gonna, I'm trying not to say it too much. It was over there in that Aries bonus read. What else for Taurus? Somebody stuck in their head. Commitment, long-term relationship. Someone's trying to figure out what they want with you. What is you? Lockbox in between love, affair, and commitment. They don't know what they want. The stuck energy is right in between sneaking around or committing. Let's keep it going. What else for Taurus? What's the energy for Taurus, please? retaliation and then somebody mad <laughs> punish payback revenge it's giving eggs there's a chick here with red lipstick and some bougie ass glasses could be ray-bans beach type glasses too something going on here with this energy it's a woman but it could be a scorn as male too for some of you we're gonna clarify what else for Taurus? what's the energy it's giving bitter ex or bitter lover Hamster will survive in daily hustle. Someone's focusing on their coin, their praying, their hoping, their wishing, their manifesting. This person could be your wish or you could be theirs. One more. I feel like I need one more for Taurus. Archangel Michael, desire, lust, sexual chemistry. I got two. Some of you have divine, angelic protection. Okay. And then this person is in this friends with benefits energy. This is all it was ready for. What is true? This is all you have been open to. You have not been open to commitment. Or when it comes to commitment, you get stuck in your head or this stem. Let's get these clarifications. And I got denial, not facing the truth, unrational reasoning. But they single though. They act like they single. Like they not. They could not be single, but they act like they single. Or this is the fact that they're actually single and all they want to do is fuck around. Red lipstick, done completion, lesson learned, verge about to reveal and confess. Confess what? Please do. <laughs> okay, let's clarify. Gang, that's all I'm on. Taurus gang. Our birthday coming up. What y'all gonna do? Let me know something. I am 5 1. Drop your birthday in the comments. Run it up. Shit, Taurus about to show out. It's about to be, what I see, I seen a post on social media. It said, it's almost United States of Taurus. You know it. <laughs> the Hierophant. Trust the universe. Divine timing. Greater forces are at play. Love affair for Taurus. What's this about? Nurture, compassion, love, sincere feelings. Wants to take care of you. Protective. How? If they cheated. Okay, for some of you, your mister or your mistress actually has true, sincere feelings for you. Or you could be wondering, like, damn, if you would cheat on them, would you cheat on me? Do you actually really care about me or am I just something to do? Someone to do in this case. 
some of you i feel like you're in a relationship and you have been cheating on your person i hope they don't cross watch this because i'm gonna lay this shit out you call okay one more for love affair somebody mister or mistress actually take care of them how you do that i mean i'm talking about tricking off spoiling dang it's giving paid mistress paid mister dirty little secret down low it's living on y'all living a whole life like this someone's gotten comfortable in this cheating situation sure did one more things are not as they appear deceit <laughs> subconscious emotions fear deceit things are not as they appear intuition and moon roll it back intuition your intuition has been speaking to you like chris brown what he say uh something speaks to me he's a tourist may 5th so yeah somebody's intuition has been telling them what to do how to move but no they go back and forth about it it's stress. We say stressful choices. Two of Pentacles juggling. Somebody cheating. Oh, well, knew that because it said dirty little secret love affair. Now, for some of you, wait a minute. I got I got a curveball scenario. I just pulled it out of my psychic hat. Somebody could be dealing with somebody named Sanchez. Anyways, it's a love affair. Dirty little secret down low. For some of you with subconscious and moon and deceit things are not as they appear but they love you they have sincere feelings they want to take care of you protect somebody's they just they just want to live a private life they don't want their relationship aired out they just want to live their relationship in secrecy i don't know if i i don't know if i like that though like i ain't got to be posting pictures of us tugging each other down kissing each other but why we hiding it like we can't post in our story we can't post on specific days like i don't know about that because it's like, why? Now, for some of you, they have a certain type of lifestyle where if y'all not married, it's not ideal for them to post their relationship. Yeah, yeah. They may <laughs> they may not, let's say, if it's not stable, they may not even want to start posting pics because if y'all break up, then they got to delete them all. Well, whatever. That's that's the way they want to go about it. Lockbox, weird. Because who not? But I guess people live private lives. Whatever. Lockbox, the tourists. This came out of Aries reading and it came out of reverse and it slid sideways for y'all. But for the sake of me going to clarify it anyway, it says, I'm going to put it in the upright, alchemy, ancestors, ancestor guides to be exact, temperance cards, Sagittarius energy, balance, healing, moderation, transmutation, and patience. Someone's stuck when it comes to creating and alchemizing what they want with you. Having patience with them, you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're waiting on them yeah you feel like they're moving slow they're slow to commit or you want to take your time with this person you're not looking for anything serious or you want to watch them you want to be sure some of you could be working on something for yourself you could feel stuck you don't know what's next for you we coming back to that commitment i feel like their intentions is an issue for them somebody's stuck it's stuck energy someone's also trying to um I know you fucking lying. Someone's also trying to like everything that you alchemize, everything that you try to create for yourself, they want to lock it away from you. Keep it away from you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's either manipulation or alchemy. Spell work. Someone's trying to block everything that you're manifesting for yourself. What? Commitment. For the commitment card i got soulmate energy union interesting that's beautiful integration of yin and yang could be a twin there's spirit that bird on that tree but it also says decisions lovers card gemini energy a proposal clarifying two people in a wedding dress oh some of y'all, y'all getting ready to get proposed to, or you already engaged and y'all taking it to another level. We'll go ahead and walk down that aisle. What's at the bottom of the deck? Reunion spirits. Like, look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, shit. Nah. 
Soulmate, soul ties, faded partnership, past life connection, heavy twin flame with that statement. Heavy twin flame with yin and yang and past life with these two together because soulmates can be past life too. And the past returns and they've been watching your ass. So if you fell off the wagon with somebody, <laughs> like y'all was rolling, you was on their bandwagon, they was on your bandwagon and shit fell off, here they come. And it's coming with a long-term relationship. Oh, we got multiple scenarios for certain. Somebody over here sneaking around, fucking around. Somebody right here stuck on stupid, <laughs> stuck on stupid, stuck on Sally. And somebody about to get proposed to. I like this. I like this reading. It ain't the same thing. Ooh wee. One more for this right here though. Inner child healing sideways. Wounded coping mechanism, learned behavior, self-discovery. They working on themselves. Yeah, they got trust issues. Conflicts, mood swings, trust issues, manipulation patterns. Or there's also somebody trying to control them by spell work. That, that five of swords manipulation energy. Or it's a comic partner they keep bumping heads with. Or mm -mm, it's somebody they with. Somebody they with. Trauma bond, stuck energy, energy vampire. Somebody could be dealing with a Josh. Okay, so, or Joshua. Addictions pattern is energy vampire, trauma bond. It's a karmic partner. I swear to God, I need to watch that Aries energy because it say karmic partner, the devil right there. Capricorn energy, if I didn't say it, then here we go. Getting ready to clarify this bitch. Retaliation. She next, right after this karmic partner with this control. This person tried to leave and they decided to say, my baby's sick or my baby needs you. You can't go nowhere. How you gonna get in a relationship and our baby got this this certain disease or this this certain thing going on in school? They're in sports, they need you. Like this bitch or your bitch came up <laughs> came up with an excuse. Oh well, I just lost my job, or I just broke my foot, or I just had this baby. I can't do it on my own. Or the baby's only one, the baby's only two. How dare you move on? Mm-hmm. You know what? This inner child, the child could be the blockage. I'm telling you, this somebody baby mama or a bitter ass baby daddy that don't want to let their baby mama go. Huh? But you know what? Let's keep it rolling. What's retaliation for Taurus before I add the damn fool? You know what? We in Aries energy, and I swear to God, y'all, I got an Aries Mercury, Venus, and uh, Moon, but mm, I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> Aries need to go on and go on and get out the way. Because your girl is fired up. What's retaliation? Shit. Uh-uh. Who is this lady? Or oh, this or oh, this male. Allegedly. Change. Ada Wan, Sagittarius energy. Leo is on this suitcase. Right here. 888. Y'all could be manifesting great abundance. Moving on. Progress travel you've been communicating with someone she mad or he mad that you're moving on moving away moving out you're done you're working with yourself you're elevating in life someone's bitter and mad they could have paid someone to block and stop you by alchemy i'm not playing this is the energy someone could have paid someone with alchemy right here to block and stop you lock lock your shit up lock you up from moving on moving out moving away however the fuck or this was happening to your person yeah, I got anxiety, insomnia, can't sleep, stress, worry, guilt, fear, regret, nine of swords, lost. They get stuck in their head. Somebody doing bullshit. This lady is projecting, or this male that's scorn is projecting to cause someone to be confused about you. Some of you, you're in a situation where your ex or the person you actually with could be trying to control you. It could be narcissism, too. You need to go on and cut ties with that person because, no, you know. Or you're dealing with somebody that won't release their ex. Every time y'all try to move things forward, here comes this retaliation energy. It's always something. Matter of fact, I said that in Pisces reading. And this union card I use for their thumbnail. So maybe I dealing with a Pisces. I said it's always something. What's hamster wheel? For some of you, they focus on their stability, but they did offer you sex. You wanted more. Or you did this. 
instead of committing to someone at that time, you were focusing on your money, your stability, home, and all of that, full wines energy, but you were only giving them sex. Denial. Not facing the truth. Things are not as they appear. What's this hamster wheel for Taurus? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Why is this illusions here? I just said denial not facing the truth. Things are not as they appear. Here's illusions. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Um so much. So negativity, doubtful, discontentment energy, four cups, cancer energy, missed opportunity, not hopeful, discontent. But discontent in their stability financially, expansion, growth, pursuing passions. I just said somebody was focusing on their stability, adventure, new opportunities, and fortune, action. So instead of pursuing you or instead of you pursuing this person, you decide I'm going to focus on my stability, gain some sense of, I'm here ego, but gain some sense of I feel certain. I feel, I feel like I'm worth more. I feel like I have more to offer. Instead of committing, you gave them sex. Friends with benefits. Why you focus more on whatever this is or this is how they did you. I don't want to say how they did you. This is what happened. This is how they did you. <laughs> oh this is how you did them so i feel like this person felt like they weren't good enough at the time so they decided to focus more on having more money or this shoe for some of you they didn't want to leave that relationship they were in behind so yeah because finances would have been the issue what's the hamster wheel one more for the hamster wheel if they were married what's the hamster wheel High yourself in reverse down there. Fellow the inner child. Something about a kid. High yourself awakening timeline shift. They would have lost it all. They would have been become lower. Lower self. Nostalgia, memories, missing someone, sister because past life soulmate, the past. I'm telling y'all, this is this is a strong read. I just said you learned most of your lessons in partnerships. So for some of y'all, this person didn't want to release whatever they was doing because they would have lost it all. But they did pursue you sexually until they didn't desire a Taurus. Did I just see 17, 17? Desire. Stability. No. This is about to piss me off. One more. Desire. Let me get some words from this person. That is crazy. One more uh, clarification for desire. There's a third party. Exactly. And the, I gave it to temptation. Desire clarify what I gave it to temptation. And a third party, they cheated. Or you were the person they cheated with. Or you cheated. Or if it wasn't no cheating going on, you had multiple people you were juggling or they did. Stressful choices. Chaos trying to balance juggling you and another going with the flow living a best life so for some of you they were married juggling you for some of you they were just exploring their options all of a sudden though something came to a close maybe you moved on and caught some kind of disharmony they could have broke up with somebody there's that masculine energy something going on with a shift something's changing but some of y'all, they pick somebody else. And that's the ending. So, I got Ace of Earth, Manifest, Stable Romance, New Financial Start, Prosperity Rewards, and Long-Term Security. I feel like they already had that going on. Juggled you and uh, allowed themselves to deal with you sexually. Or for some of you, this is what you wanted from this person. But they only gave, you know, they only gave you... Give me one more for this desire. Illusions and healing. So, there was some kind of codependency. Y'all could have allowed this person to come at you some type of way sexually because you didn't know how to be alone. You didn't know how to be single. You wasn't used to being alone or you felt like you've been alone forever. So, you accepted whatever this was and whatever percentage they gave. 
with a uh, not seeing clearly rose tinted glasses you could have allowed this person to come and go they could do no wrong or they're in a relationship where they're not happy in the first place but they come towards you romantically for some of you for some of you every time they come it's a renewal but it ends up going the same way y'all could have been on again off again but with emotions and new love i feel like this person is going to have to break free and choose what they want where it would be successful and abundant especially if it's a twin because y'all manifest great things together with this union and commitment but i can't wait to get a tarot card i feel like the issue is they not sure if it will work out with you so they stay where they are they stick to what they know some of y'all are just exploring their fucking options they're not looking for anything serious they're focusing on their stability it does say new financial start prosperity rewards long-term security yeah all this is clarifying desire though i feel like some of y'all dealing with a person that just have a friends with benefit mindset and that's crazy that is so weird and unhealed how i'm gonna say that's weird because life is about being fruitful they even put that in the good book adam and eve create do come together the yin and the yang the feminine and the masculine however they go however as far as being fruitful and creating in a balanced masculine and feminine dynamic this person decides they don't want none of that they want to be the, their self and date around fuck around be with whoever they want to be with so what's this archangel michael Five D telepathic communication, astral travel, spirit guides, signs of synchronicities. That's weird. So either y'all have a either y'all have a twin flame or a soulmate that's an angelic being that has been showing up in your dreams, or you've been getting signs of synchronicities from a guardian in your dream state, or they have about you. That's deep telepathy i feel like archangel michael is protecting you in your dream state as well because there are messages there for you some of y'all need to remember y'all dreams that just took a twist signs of synchronicities astro travel also now that makes sense because i resonate with that archangel michael is protecting you from someone that keeps trying to astro travel into your dreams which is also a factor in this connection as well soul searching because that is a blockage soul searching from your telepathic connection with your other half soul searching deep introspection evolution hermit energy void period virgo energy someone has pulled back they've withdrawn they in this retreat energy trying to figure out what they want what is you what's denial something they gotta let go what is you death card indies resilience transformation and power let go they don't want to they in their head about it or this shoe or they if they let go they can't get over what they've experienced they gotta heal but let's get this clarification my kids is trying to go outside what is love affair for tourists they go to the higher thing gang that's all i'm on love affair for tourists this is a spiritual connection y'all have learned a lot from this person y'all also could be teachers six of cups sideways scorpio energy they really having a hard time releasing their past i'm telling you it's scorpio energy with the death scorpio energy with the six of cups could be dealing with scorpio could be dealing with the fact of transformation they having a hard time doing that so i'm not gonna get re i'm not gonna get redundant the knight of pentacles is someone that works on themselves they're consistent with what they do they also are gradually coming towards you and it's trustworthy respectable loyal energy is what they're supposed to do that's what you deserve this king of wands could be coming at you very flirty could be a twin for sure or leo they're going through court matters someone could have a libra placement or be a libra they could be regretting how they treated you. They want to take accountability, make it right as well, and come towards you with a solid offer. For some of you, that's this energy right here. But they're healing sideways. It's not in reverse, which means they're unhealed. It's not in the upright completely. So I feel like they're having a challenge, difficulty, healing. So <laughs> why I roll my eyes? Because some people know what they got to do. They know. Because everything is free will. I learned a lot about fate and destiny. Fate is the things that will happen to you, regardless. Destiny is the free will out of the choice you have that's presented to you. Which route would you take? It's still connected to fate because we have things that are option, fork in the road. 
but what you do with that choice is which way you will end up it's like light or dark duality this way that way left or right but the destination is the same death um like with me real quick i was an activist i was a model i was acting i was in nursing going to school to be a nurse but i was a medical assistant and here i am here on my platform no matter what the destination was to be in a public eye and just routes so that's how i feel about that but um this person is having a hard time and they do have a choice releasing their past or this is you or getting over it i got maxwell this woman's work everything that you wanted from me everything that you needed from me all the things i didn't say or do child is crazy alchemy for Taurus. the queen of swords and the lovers what's this queen who is this queen of swords what's the five of wands for the queen of swords This lady trying to block this person from coming towards you. Chariot, five of wands, strength sideways. Leo, cancer, Leo, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius too. But um, I don't like this energy. It's because it's clarifying the ancestor card that's clarifying the stuck card. The chariot is overcoming obstacles, movement, grit, focus, drive, willpower. The strength is courage willpower bravery resilience is sideways with this conflict either this is internal conflict someone needs boundaries someone needs to speak their truth stand up for themselves what they want what what they what they deem to be a successful life getting focused on self standing firm on what they believe they should have in partnerships with the lovers okay this could also be an ex of theirs creating conflict trying to stop them from moving forward they could have had a hard time releasing them because there's some kind of obstacle they're waiting on them to overcome or they're helping them to overcome there's something here lacking with confidence as well some of you need boundaries there's a lot going on um but you may have some codependency traits this is also clear and logical thinking though some of you your own your own mind is against you because you lack confidence though when it comes to your partnerships you may be successful chariot and independent everywhere else in your life oh this is this woman for you masculine energies but when it comes to partnerships the lovers with the union energy right here lovers union lovers i feel that this person wow i feel that this person gets real conflicted or you do so definitely strong soulmate twin flame energy i'm trying not to be too weird today Come out tap the fuck in but um <laughs> i feel there's an issue with where this is going for sure but there's a external party an external factor this queen of swords behind the scenes for some of you for some of you masculine energy you're you're intimidated by this woman's successes and her ability to stand firm on her own you may feel like where do i fit in do i have enough to offer five of wine strength sideways in this partnership and you're in your head a lot about it yeah healing is here healing is here as well yeah or they are intimidated by you your successes and your independence Child. judgment at the bottom of the deck they have to reevaluate reassess they may have to reevaluate their beliefs especially if they feel like this queen of swords is in an authoritative position or she's too independent or too alpha who is this queen of swords four twos i feel like i ruined everything I dive in out of relationship for some of y'all this is their ex that wants them back trying to fix their relationship if it's not an ex somebody they still are with they have not released them and she may be trying to smooth her way back into this person's life for some of you which has created a conflict for y'all's union some of you feel like you're not good enough or you said the wrong things or you're too guarded and you push this person away you blind yourself it's a mental conflict one more for the queen of swords I will find my way back to you one day. 
this they ex or I want to work things out. I'm telling you, they living with somebody, they in a relationship with somebody where they don't have no emotional ties. But every fucking time this person decides they're moving on, moving away, moving out, travel. Yep, chariot. This person try to get their family back together. I'm telling you, absolutely every fucking time. I want to work things out. One side of relationship, fights, arguments, conflicts. This is their past or the person they are with where it's not going well decides it. They want it to go well and they want to work it out. That's the blockage. Whoever this bitch is, they keep trying to fix her family. I got this energy before. I got this before. I sure the fuck did. Probably about a month ago. I think I said all of a sudden she want her family back. I just said that for another sign too. <laughs> what sign did I say that on? Somebody just commented on something now on YouTube. Child, wait a minute. I just said all of a sudden she wants her family back on another sign. That's crazy. What sign was that? Scorpio. Yep. <laughs> And I got a whole lot of Scorpio energy here. Ooh, we somebody got a Scorpio placement. Bitch, please. What's this um union? The world and the two of swords is a fucking stalemate. They gotta close out a cycle before this can go anywhere. Period. Taurus, Taurus, Scorpio, Leon, Aquarius, then the Libra with the two of swords. It's a stalemate, it's a block for some of you, somebody blocking and coming towards you. By spell work or by manipulation tactics, like wanting your family back. For some of you, this masculine keeps trying to get in your way. He wants you back now that you're independent. And that's confusing the fuck out of you because y'all got a family together. Yep. What's this retaliation and change? The past is a fucking past. Retaliation and change. What's this? Page of swords. Somebody sending evil eye negative energy towards you or your personal or both of y'all. Retaliation, page of swords. Page of swords can be seen as gathering info pettiness jealousy envy why are you moving forward moving on progressing in life for some of you this ain't got nothing to do with a lover this is hating ass people watching you trying to block you stop you resonating from moving forward achieving great things in life successes endeavors they mad they bitter they hate male or female you got somebody hating on you sending you negative energy because you have surpassed their level of success next or this is somebody's ex or current partner sleeping with the enemy. What? What is doubts, hamster wheel, and this right here in reverse? Empress. Go back to the scenario with the Queen of Swords. Somebody says that this Empress seems too independent. She like she don't need nobody. See, I hope that that's an Emperor that's gonna get out of his head because y'all are equally yoked, literally. They in their head, five of swords. Or someone's envious, too. You know what? This person right here looking over this money, I feel like there's somebody watching your money or watching how much you make or how much you accomplish. Some of you are creating a lot for yourself. And people are envious. Or these are people that y'all are literally sleeping with that are hating on you. Some of you feel like you don't have enough to offer this person for you masculine energies because she's so successful. Or she appears to be elegant, poised, put together, success. Take care of her children by herself, queen of swords to the empress, independent. Some of you, this is their child's mother. They don't know what the fuck will happen in their life if they was to cut ties and leave this person behind. Or their wife. Get to all of this desire. Seven of Pentacles, what else? They've invested a long time. They got a whole lot of ties over there. That's why they ain't committed to you. Or that's why they scared to move on because they feel like even if they're not on child support, that bitch may be spiteful, yep, retaliation, and put them on child support. Out of spite. They'll lose it all. <laughs> Desire. I got K. Michelle, you gonna cry. So this King of Swords goes with this Queen of Swords. Either this is y'all soulmate twin, y'all are both at odds, nobody's communicating effectively, or y'all are only communicating there. You've cut them off or they cut you off. You decide to cut them off because you know you're not ready or you decide to cut them off because they weren't giving you more. However it go, y'all are both in this energy. Two strong-minded people ain't going to get nowhere because ain't nobody trying to hear nobody, not emotionally, not compassionately. Hell yeah, that's for somebody. Some of you, these people ain't even with each other. 
they stay together. They provide for them, but ain't nothing going on. They support that. This King of Swords came out with support. Or this King of Swords is Archangel Michael supporting you as you move forward. Y'all could be angelic siblings. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, but we ain't gonna get that deep. That's that's too deep for folks. But anyways, Six of Pentacles, because people are like, what is she talking about? Six of Pentacles coming out with this King of Swords, they are on a verge of a divorce, on a verge of a, a breakup, or they already broke up, and he still has to provide for that person, or he's worried about that bitch coming for his pockets. I said it. Okay. Illusions, codependency. She needed, she need him, and whatever. They only, they only can give you sex. There's something about investing, hard-earned money, or they want you to be patient and wait on them. But... In that patience, they want to fuck on you and suck on you. For some of you decided you wanted long-term stability, you wanted more, you released it. Or you're in this point right now where you're going to have to in order to heal. Because you're not getting enough. It feels like lack. It's not enough. Or you want more from this person. You want them to invest in you. You want them to do more than talk to you, text you, give you gifts, pay for your stuff. You want more from this person. Or your person is dealing with somebody that keeps coming for their pockets. But... Y'all only have sex. That's all y'all got. Or this is all y'all had. They could be a dog ass with the dog barking in the background. Okay. Archangel Michael. Six of Wands. As you move forward and progress in life, you have angelic protection. If you begin to listen to your guides, you will also be very successful to triumph over obstacles. Okay. One more for Archangel Michael. I feel like this is protection because you're in the spotlight. For some of you archangel michael the sun wow it's even chosen six of wands leo 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 twice six of wands hangman enlightenment one more so the six of wands has to do with you surrendering you releasing control sun enlightenment twice with the sun uh hangman ace of wands as you move forward and focus on life pursue your passion you know what let me back up Someone's getting guidance that whatever this is does not serve them, does not align with their path. You need to get focused because you have angelic protection as you move forward. Focus on your successes. Overcome obstacles. Surrender, surrender control to this whole situation. There's nothing you can do about another person's actions. Okay? Period. Focus on your healing. Focus on your vitality. Optimism. What you want to create for yourself. Some of you are chosen. Some of you are speakers. Some of you are in a public eye six and one. Some of you are supposed to be in a position where you teach others how to move forward, how to become their best self, and focus on their own divine path. You have protection, and you've been getting guidance on how to do that. Because whatever this is, is tacky. It does not align. It's confusing. You don't know where you're standing. And then number gave you sex. And they also dealing with somebody else. We started out with love affair. Whatever the fuck this is, release it. We ain't doing stalemates. We ain't doing find my way back to you later. We not doing this motherfucking conflict, exes, wives, husbands, and keep trying to keep somebody stuck. We not doing this confused energy, retaliation, bullying, deceit. Things are not as they appear with this motherfucking moon. Envy, page of swords, because somebody dealing with somebody that's toxic that they need to release. You attracted other energies because you dealing with somebody that can't let go of their past. They in denial about it. We're not doing that. If you know somebody dealing with somebody, release that because that person may be scorned and, and then a little unhinged. Period. Now, if you and this person was rocking and rolling and then their ex came back, well, fuck them too. Because if they let their ex come back, then they wouldn't, they wouldn't for you. If they decided they didn't want to pursue you or give more to you than sex, release this shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. I hope the rest of y'all is 18 and up. Because I hope I'm talking to somebody grown. Ain't nobody got time for this halfway, half-ass, half-baked, limbo-ass shit. Focus on your successes and what you want to accomplish and heal within yourself. Period.